Welcome to New Haven, Connecticut. On this beautiful birthday weekend of mine's, I told my guys, gas up the pacer, we're heading up north. It's time to eat some beautiful New Haven pizza. We visit Frank Pepe, the OG, as well as Sally's at Pizza down the street. Modern Pete's too. So stay tuned, watch to the very end, we're gonna give you our real take, what was our favorite, and what wasn't. Subscribe, and let's get the video going. Let's do this. I am currently here in New Haven, Connecticut. I wanted to taste what the fuss was all about here. Everyone says when you want good pizza, you gotta come to New Haven. I am here in Little Italy in Worcester, Worcester Street. Worcester, right? Worcester Street. We got here kind of early. It's like 11 o'clock. I'm here with the homies Miz, Prime, and, and Chloe. And we wanted to go to Sally's first, but they don't open till about 11.30. And I noticed Pepe's is like down the street, literally down the street, and they're already open. So we're gonna check that out first and head over to Sally's and see what the difference is, all right? And maybe hit up a few more, so stay tuned. Perfect. all the way from Philly and it seemed like it's worth it man these guys are serious back here yeah, I love the vibes you see the history here I mean it just breathes excitement when you come in here it's like a history uh, feels like family up in here too so shout out to Pepe's man y'all made the drive worth it so this is all the dough we use okay that's right there that's it right there yeah what separates New Haven from like the rest of the world? The rest of the world? Um, quality, yeah. coal fire, history. Yeah. I mean, you can't recreate time. So we've been here since 1925. So same ingredients, same recipe. Um, and again, coal fire and dough. That's it. Right here. From Philly. Uh, I have no idea where Manahoy City is. This is what the spot used to look like. We're gonna go over there just to sit modern time. We're just getting it going, so we got some bring some coal in and whatnot. Okay. And when we're just up there, right there, that picture is just where you're taking pictures in the top right. That's exactly where you just were taking pictures in the front of. And it's for maybe the first pizza box. <laughs> Comes from the late 1800s. Shit. So in New York built, and this is the original oven. Okay. You're going right there. So it was 14 by 14 feet, the last oven we were at. Um, where this one is 13 by 13. So you make dough every day fresh, like we do to this day. And you proof it up in this wood box. And so obviously this is not, you know, health code safe. So right. we have a replica of these stainless steel that we use today. So the exact down to the square inch stainless steel, so it's food safety we use today. Yeah, I think we ordered the clam pie, we ordered the original tomato pie and the cheese pie. I wish I would have known because Tim, shout out to Tim, Tim said next time get the regular cheese pie with some anchovies. Oh, let me get a plate. Like we used to. My boy burnt his hair, right? Look like Martin on, um, on life when he's such a hot pie. <laughs> it's so hot. But look at that crust, though. Look at that pizza dough. Classic brick oven thinness. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Now, what you got? Like a nice Android like blemish filter on here? That looks good. That's an Android. Come on, we should start with the side, John. Is that Connecticut pizza what it is? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. Ernie McCracken style. Bruh. This is the regular margarita pizza. Bruh. You want some peppers? No, I'm good. For that crunch. My type of pizza right here, man. 
crispy. Mm -hmm. Crispy. Mm -hmm. The tomato sauce has like a nice, like, you know what I mean? Like body to it. Show y'all. Mm. Y'all see? Look at the crust. Look at the dough. I believe they drizzle olive oil once they take it out the oven. I'm gonna put up them, them, them gar the garlic sauce. I just don't eat nothing. I can eat a million of these slices. It's thin, it's delicious, and it got a nice crunch to it. Fantastic. Tomato sauce is like nice and pulpy. This is the margarita, so there's no cheese on this, I don't think, right? Or is it blended in? I don't think so. Now I'm gonna do the regular cheese pizza. This is the regular cheese. Look at look at the undercarriage of all this. Nice crunchiness here. Flavor right there. I'm gonna do the double. I'm gonna eat it just like this. Is it? You know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to offend y'all. Hey, you better stop playing, eat that thing. Mm. Try that out. That's a different type of cheese, too. That is a different type of cheese. You know what I like about this place? Very warm, very welcoming. Um, <clears throat> also, Tim, the one that showed me around. Yeah. Thank you so much. Shout out to Tim and the whole staff. Tim, he's the one that gave me the tour. I asked him, like, what other places he recommend. He was like, oh, you got to go check out our little brother Sally's down the street. So I love it, the fact that they show love to, you know, other establishments here, other pizza establishments. That goes to show you the confidence they have in their pizza. He gave that, him an alley-oop. He gave him an alley-oop. He's like, go try out Sally's. I, I knew I wanted to try Sally's. He said, go try it out. I'm not saying I need permission, but I'm saying like that's always a good indication that um, it's all love here. You know what I mean? Good, yeah. That cheese is a different cheese. This slice looks like um, all dogs go to heaven right here. And it's like, <laughs> the cheese is different. It's really good cheese. I don't know what it is. Yeah, quality cheese. Mm -hmm. Real deal. Thank you, everybody. Cheers, my brothers. Cheers. I need some hot, some hot peppers up there. Remember you got the hot peppers over there? Let's see what that clam did. I don't really have much words to say. It's really not much to say like my boy Prime said. Good pizza will shut you up so you can keep eating. Right. Keep it right there. No, keep it right there. Now this is going to rock my world. Not only is this no flop whatsoever, but you can see the clams. The dough is going to be crunchy all around. Look at the undercarriage. Clam pizza is one of the best pizzas you can get. Cheers. <laughs> I love DiLorenzo's in Robbinsville. I feel like, I, you know, every time I go there, I go for clam pizza. But their clam pizza here with that dough, mm -hmm. with the freshness of the clams, mm. First time, good. Oh, like a seat. Unbelievable. Man. Unbelievable. Mm. Wow. Is it crunchy? Mm -hmm. The dough? This is crusty, crusty. Crusty, crusty. Yeah, crusty, crusty. Good. Don't get me wrong. Philly, Jersey, spectacular pies. We come here for the overall experience, the pictures on the walls, the hospitality, the overall experience here is just a fantastic one. I mean, and they got coat hangers too. Mm-hmm. One, one. <laughs> Earth and pizza here. I'll see you guys in the next spot. All right. We'll... So, what do you think about the clam pizza? Clam pizza is delicious. It tastes like a, a sea, and there's like a lot of clam meat in there. A lot of you, clam. As you can see, and it's uh, it had like three slices. You know. I could probably eat the whole thing, you know, but like usually one pizza, I'd be like, yeah, I'm done. <clears throat> three, three, but this is delicious. Mm. But the other pizza was good too. The cheese on the cheese pizza, fire. How about you, Prime Mega? The clam is good, however. The 
margarita is, is crazy because yeah. it's almost as if you forget that there's no cheese on there. But I, th I think there's cheese like Parmesan in the, oh, the sauce yeah. itself. But it's just yeah. it's different. It's just different. Very different. Lizzie? I don't even know. <laughs> I like the cheese one, but I like the clam one, but then I like them. I like that's how the cheese and the clam one for me. Preferably, I think I'm gonna go with the cheese one. So I think all three of us got a different one. And the clam one ain't bad, but I just <clears> like <throat> the cheese pizza. Hey man, you know, I feel like my favorite one is all three. You can get that one on. It was so good. It was so, it's, a, it's something about going from the margarita to the cheesy pizza yeah. to the clam pizza. Mm -hmm. They need to like have like a trifecta where they have all three of those. I'm going to try the other place that's down the street too. Let's we'll see you on the next one. Or actually follow us to the next one. All right, just got done at Pepe's, which is literally down the block. Up next is Sally's, which I heard is amazing as well. Sally's a pizza. Let's go check it out, y'all. evenness throughout the whole pizza with the dough and everything. So. You know what I appreciate about New Haven, what I appreciate about Pepe's and even Sally's? It's like very vlogger friendly here. So for all you vloggers that want to get some content, they are welcoming. I mean, right now we came here early and they were able to just allow us to do our thing. That's all we asked for. You know what I mean? We are, we're not out here to start no trouble or nothing like that. We, we just want to perfect our craft to the point where we can uplift others too. You know what I'm saying? Let's roll. Oh, my God. Ooh. oh my God. That's a medium? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. This is going to be everything I think it's going to be. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. New Haven, Connecticut. Sally's a beats. I think I'm saying that right. Look at that. You don't even like my photography. You don't even like my photography. Yo, y'all gotta try that. No. But this is spectacular pizza. I mean, Pepe's and Sally's a pizza. Top tier, spectacular. I mean, the whole city of New Haven wins. This is spectacular pizza. This is way better than Star Tavern in Jersey. I'm gonna say it like that. No disrespect, you know what I mean, to Star Tavern. I know it's thin crust and all that. This is way, like, uh, you had, you know, what do you think? From a Star Tavern in your orange? I mean, no cheese. Yeah, this is the way better. Already? Yo, born ready. I wanted to do a specialty uh, at Pepe's. We did the specialty clam pizza. Here we're going to do the potato pizza. The rosemary, the rosemary and its potato is like undefeated. This is the bomb. A change of pace and flavors. I mean, the rosemary and the potato just works beautifully. 
Very aromatic. Like once you bite into this potato pizza, the rosemary kicks up in your in your senses. I I've never had any type of pizza ever like this before. The rosemary potato pizza is a beautifully different type of pizza. You gotta try this out, especially with the bacon too. The this rosemary potato one. I've never had anything like it. That's the. This is the one. And if you get some of that bacon on there too. It's my turn, bro. And I am full. I am at the edge of my limits. My turn, bro. I guess is earn now. Let me see what all the hype is about. This is the one. This is the one like what? Like, like me and Memo. Like, like Leo. I was just going to say, No. What an experience here at Sally's of Pete's. A pizza. Sally's? Some of the best pizza I ever had is on one street right now. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, my brother. A worthy one-two step. Either way, if it's Sally's or Pepe's or Pepe's or Sally's, you cannot miss this hot destination, tasty destination for spectacular pizza. I mean, if you're from Philly, the three and a half hour drive, well worth it. It's delicious, delicious, delicious. I'm at, I'm at the edge of my limits here. I am gonna wrap up uh, Sally's at Pete's. Yo, excellent, excellent. If you guys have been here before, let me know what you think. New Haven, Connecticut, you earn my respect here, all right? Well, I will see you on the next spot. Peace. Last installment of the third pizza uh, installment for the pizza video here in New Haven. First one was Pepe's, second one was Sally. Today is the modern. Everyone's been recommending it. They say you gotta do modern next. So the three-headed monster. Last one, modern a pizza. Not pizza, modern a pizza. I think it's called a pizza. Well, very nice here. It's on State Street, down kind of like downtown, I guess, in a way. But um, the smell, you definitely, the, from the dough itself, you can smell it from the parking lot. Uh, Everyone coming out here, giving their take, very nice too. So we're gonna order. Um, very spacious here too, lots of history as well. Half cheese, half Italian bomb, half, Ita uh, half veggie. I'm gonna get it together. Half veggie and half uh, eggplant. Half veggie bomb. Miz wanted the eggplant, just so y'all know. He requested for that. I <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the cheese slice, which looks just like a beautiful looking brick oven slice. Look at this, modern. I was kind of turned off by the name though, modern. You know, I like old school names like Pepe's or Sally's, but modern pizza, a pizza is like, you know, maybe they're onto something, look at that. So that's the cheese slice. <laughs> try that out, Prime. Cheese? Alright, so you can stop working. Try that out. Try the cheese. Man, we'll try the cheese. This cheese slice has so much swagger. Mm. Try the cheese, man. The cheese. That is such a remarkable, ever, uh, a magical cheese slice. That dough is different too. It is. 
might be the best for me. Let me tell you, this is the best cheese one out of all of them. Definitely. Instantly. This cheese slice is like... Mm. It's like a hybrid. It's kind of like reminding me of a brick oven as well as a boardwalk slice. Fantastic. So good. Yeah, it's like perfectly toasted. Yeah. I don't see like a garlic salt or something. garlic up next is the Italian bomb. I mean, if this is their supreme, this is the most supreme pizza I've ever seen. You want the bigger piece? They did not skimp out on the ingredients. It's big chunks of bacon, pepperoni, <laughs> mushrooms. I mean, this is such a... This is a big, hefty... When they say Italian bomb, they are not lying. This is about Italian bomb as it gets. Yo, this is like real deal bacon. Like big chunks of bacon. Oh bacon. Green pepper. Onions. Pepperoni. Italian bomb is really it lives up to the hype. It, it really is an Italian bomb. Um, I am hungry, so I have to like remind myself eating on every stomach can make anything taste really like super super good, right? Mm -hmm. So the cheese slice to me was like top tier. If you ask me what was the best one, um, I say it's either this one or Sally's. Um, I did like the margarita from Pepe's, mm -hmm. I like the clam pizza from Pepe's. But their, their cheese slice and their Italian bomb is like, the specialty one is like, shh. I've never seen anything like that Italian bomb ever. This is the cheese slice again right here, I'm gonna show you. This is the cheese slice. Hands down, that might be one of my favorites. So let's go right back to you. Um, yeah, try it. Because I'm hungry, everything is like, yeah. You gotta be careful. When you're hungry, the X. review isn't like, it's good. you're gonna tilt in favor for this, but nah. it's delicious. This is I was gonna say, it's, it's something definitely delicious. It's delicious. I'm gonna try out the eggplant pizza next. Okay. okay, so in hand, this feels sturdy. This feels like a sturdy pizza pie. Eggplant is deep fried. It's nicely deep fried. And the crust is, I'm telling you, the crust is like, it's not as thin as the other ones, I don't think, but it's kind of bordering like boardwalk and brick oven thin crust. Look at that, nice undercarriage too. She's good. You, re you ready to try them now? No. <laughs> you ready to try them? You know, we didn't have eggplant from the other place. I didn't have it. Okay. I'm not going to crown it because of the eggplant uh, pizza. I'm trying all three so far. Pretty good over here. This is good. Pretty damn good. The only thing about the eggplant, though, it gets oily because of the deep fried part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do like the flavors of the eggplant. Mm -hmm. Do you want a refill? Um, I can see why the locals love it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to do one in your bottle? Eggplant one is different. Um, it's not my favorite though. But I do like the flavor of the deep friedness, but it's just like I said, too much deep friedness going on here for me. Yeah, I say probably my least favorite is the eggplant one. Too much. Maybe I don't know. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not in the mood for deep fried anything. I want pizza. So they actually deep fried it? Mm -hmm. It's deep fried. Say deep fried. Want me to go veggie? I'll veggie. 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 Can you do um, eggplant fried? Yeah. The veggie slice. It's just a good refresher, you know what I mean? I love olives. All right, so let me give you my thoughts here. 
Pepe's and, and Sally's, they're like similar in ways, you know what I mean? They're related, they kind of got the same recipe and stuff. Um, so it's all preference. Modern is definitely a different twist to the pizza. The cheese pizza, like I'm, I'm telling you, it kind of reminds me of a boardwalk dough slash brick oven, excuse me. It's like boardwalk brick oven in a way, but you get that boardwalk, but you get that brick oven kind of like taste from the charcoal. Um, so it's so tough to choose. I mean, at the end of the day, the, peop the people in New Haven win. It's such a great pizza pie. One thing I do like about this place that no other place has done is that Italian bomb. The fresh ingredients, the bacon, the sausage, everything was so damn good. And the, the dough itself is sturdy enough to hold all of those ingredients together. Um, now, if you tell me modern is the best one, I'm like, I'm like, yo, I can see why. Um, Pepe's the OG. Sally is like the little brother of Pepe's, but they do, I, I mean, they're all, I cannot choose, man. Like, they're all excellent in their own way. If you bring, I'll tell you what, if you bring me a pizza pie from either of those places, I'm cool. Like, I'm happy, you know what I mean? Excellent place. I know you guys are probably like, why are you playing? I'm like, yo, it's like, what you want me to choose? Can't really choose. You can't lose. All three you can't lose at any of them. Like you, you. It's like I don't see how one can say this one is better, than, or I can't see how someone can say this one is trash versus this one. It's kind of like preference. But you have three, three-headed monsters, three top-tier pizzas here in New Haven, Connecticut, within like a mile or two radius of each other. Excellent pies, excellent dough, excellent ingredients. New Haven is the winner here. Is it the pizza capital of the world? Uh, if could be, could be. I have to explore New York a little bit more, but fantastic pizza. If you guys came and did a tour here, a pizza tour here, this is one of the spots. New Haven is, to me, one of my favorite places for pizza. So every time I drive through New Haven, I'm getting pizza every time. No doubt about that, you know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What's your favorite pizza spot here? I know there might be some underdogs too that we've been told about, but to me, this is like the three-headed monster. The, the, the uh, triangle, you know what I mean? The triangulation to the pizza tour. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Let me know where I should visit next time when I'm in town. I'll definitely be back. And make sure you subscribe, share the video and all that good stuff, all right? I got merch for sale in the description. I got my guys here. Make sure you uh, follow them too. I'll put all the links in the description too. So I'm gonna finish this veggie pizza and do one more of that cheese slice. That cheese slice is, is on my mind. So I will see you on the next one. Peace.